system. Last one, we know that over 760, it doesn't really matter if you're 760 or 780, you're probably going to get the same, uh, the same best rate. What yeah. is the bottom part? God. The In bottom the number. part, well, 620 is the minimum required, 620 FICO score from the repository, from the middle score to get a conventional Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan. Um, we cannot sell it. Um, technically, we can't sell it through the cash window if it's below a 620. You'd almost be better to have no FICO scores. And there are some mortgage companies that do what's called a manual underwrite. Um, we don't do that. It's much more cumbersome, much more expensive price-wise because we've got to charge, somebody's got to charge a consumer if the loan's going to take five times as much time to get done to manufacture the loan process. So that's on Fannie and Freddie. On most jumbo loans, the minimum last I checked was 720, might have been 700. I mean, we're not, our company, uh, most mortgage companies aren't taking any jumbo loans under 700 and most are not taking them under 720. For FHA and VA, it's an arbitrary number. Um, the, there, there's no minimum technically to get it to run through the system. It depends on the characteristics of a loan. In other words, if you have a, if you have a 581 FICO score on an FHA loan, um, depends on what's creating that 581. Um, if it's a bunch of mortgage leads, if it's a recent bankruptcy, something like that, you're not going to get a loan no matter what. Uh, you wouldn't get a loan no matter if it was a 720 FICO score, which we've seen, by the way, have a recent bankruptcy and have a foreclosure or short sale or on the credit report within the past 12 months and still have a 700 FICO score. And the consumer thinks, hey, you got a 700 and you get a loan. It's not so. It doesn't FICO scores are just one part of it. Um, we've been able to get some loans done with some, some unbelievably low FICO scores, depending on the characteristics of the loan. We've had some... Uh, FHA loans and some VA loans where they have putting a down payment. Most people know that a VA loan is a, is a dollar down, no money down, basically. Um, we've, we've got a consumer right now that's putting 10% um, down because they want a lower mortgage payment and their credit is, um, it's very challenged. But that loan goes through the system, number one, because it's a veteran. And number two, because of the significant down payment, the VA doesn't have a problem guaranteeing that loan because they're the consumer's not going to walk away when they've got that much skin in the game, if that makes sense. Same thing for FHA. We've had people put 5% down versus the standard 3.5% down. And then we've been able to get a loan approved with a much lower FICO score. So it's, there's really no, there's no bottom floor, so to speak, on some government loans. Uh, and then there's, there's other loan programs, which we call non-qualified mortgages, which is a whole other story. That's all based on the equity position. So it's a good, that's a that's a tough question about the floor. 